Okay, we're going to take a few cuts off of this now. I've kind of roughed it out a bit. And uh, what I found really good is to use rubber gloves because when the chips come off of the, your tool, they hurt your hands. And it's important, and you have to hold back quite a ways from, uh, from the tool rest to allow the chip to come shooting out. basically the shape that I uh, was looking for. Now I'm going to uh, make a dovetail on the bottom so I can mount a chuck and then we'll be ready to do the inside. So I'll, uh, I'll do that now and, and then we'll turn it around. Okay, I'm going to mount the chuck on the, the bottom of the bowl now. What I found it very good to use is a large jaw and it gives you lots more wood in this area across here. Because if you use the inside ones with a small rim, it can snap out on you. Okay, I'll tighten that up, turn it around, and we'll be ready okay, to go. Now I'm going to flatten the front side with a scraper, and then just start the center hollowing it out like I, well, like I do. And then I'll uh, shut it off and... Uh, take a little bit more out and then show you a few cuts. chips fly. This is where it's a lot of fun, peeling off the wood and uh, hollowing it out. It's really nice to have a little light so it shines inside and you can see what you're doing. And of course, I'm using this curved uh, tool rest too. So I start my cut pretty much straight uh, and then slightly turn it as I go into the cut.
readjusted it, put my homemade tool rest in it, and um, we'll large it now and leave a fairly wide uh, rim because this wood is green and it's going to turn oval after it dries. Thank <laughs> you.